Weep, Grana Weep, Nitty Bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. I'm going to come back at you today with another news roundup, but this time fully focused on what just happened at Fan First Friday. So this is the first Fan First Friday that we've had in a while. They did swap it to Transformers Tuesday, but once again we had Rachel from Marketing delivering the uh, the session itself. We also had Evan and Amanda join us this time who were designers and writers from the season. We actually got 14 releases here with the first being jazz and this jazz looks okay so this is from the studio 86 line that is supposed to mimic as close as possible the 86 movie line that we got and yeah it's pretty close it's a nice looking jazz i'm quite excited by it this is its alt mode it's pretty nice um They've lost the number four. Uh, I don't know why it's got 14, but he did say that it is a number close to Jazz's heart from the G1 series. So if you know what it is, uh, please put down in the comments why it is. They also come with this whole backdrop here. Uh, Jazz to Moonbase 2 looks pretty cool. I like these backdrops that we can see. Uh, they then followed it up with Hot Rod. We've seen this Hot Rod. Tonton has already done a review of uh, his... Uh, version of it but what they did mention is the hot rod is a voyager class but basically the same size as deluxe so what they're going is they're putting him at the, the voyager price point because of all the features that he has of which there are many from blue visors to extra bits to saw blades to matrixes to all kinds of effect pieces that he has he is a very featured up jullux size vehicle mode here looks pretty good as well um i'm pretty excited about this i think i prefer the bot mode to the car mode at the moment but all in all not too bad nice to see that the effects pieces move around on this figure as well and you can put him on his little ports on his arms for his blasters then they showed us cup cup is not something that i'm as excited about i think this is the most scoffed version of cup of any of these characters that we see so far uh, he does come with an energy on goodie box though which is pretty nice and his background is sick something i didn't realize he did though was actually come apart which is pretty cool and if you've got weaponized and things like that you can weaponize him up and make him look however you want because these ports fit all of the uh, siege weaponizers which is pretty cool so that's something you can do uh, lends a little bit of the theory I guess over to the fact that these were supposed to be siege characters um, or earthrise characters but who cares the alt mode looks okay but a bit too much molded detailing for me uh, this oh I don't know about this this one probably for me is the least uh, Ooh, the least likely for me to get bot mode wise um i'm not i'm not feeling the bot mode too much here on this one um although he does come with some nice uh some nice effects and he has the the blaster his alt mode does look pretty nice though but um all in all there's just something about this blur that's a little bit off for me let me know your thoughts down in the comments he does have a very cool background but it did take me a little bit to work out what it is and it's when they're attacking autobot city so all three together blur probably looks the weirdest out of all of them his head looks elongated or something considering these are supposed to be quite cartoon accurate they are not this is definitely the best one that i've seen so far this scourge is delicious all the way down to his lovely pink manicured nails this is an amazing version of scourge i am so hyped for this one i've actually just ordered the x transbots version uh, which i'm sure will be fantastic in its own right but both modes here looking great and also this has the added little bonus of his head actually being able to stick out in alt mode just like in the movie well done well done hasbro well played it's a nice smooth and the backdrop is when he's getting reformatted so a nice little package together it looks great then they 
one that I was looking forward to seeing was Grimlock, but they said they haven't got that in person because they're doing some remastering to him. Hopefully they're getting rid of some of this molded detailing. I'm a big fan of it, but this is supposed to be cartoon accurate, right? He didn't have all this molded out detailing in the movie, so I'm wondering why this one has. It looks okay, um, looks nice. I love the fact that he comes with a little wheelie. Um, but the wheelie looks like it doesn't transform so that's a bit of sad for me um, the bot mode here looks good but again for me a little bit too much molded detailing because the movie one didn't what I thought we were going to get with these 86 characters was actually we were going to get some cell shading I was hoping all these characters were going to be cell shaded maybe they'll do that further down the line the packaging looks good here they're all going to be number 86 but good god what has Cup seen what is Cup looking at there? There's the worst picture of Cup that I've seen in a while. The rest of the hand-drawn artwork here does look pretty good, though. Interesting to see as well that Hot Rod still needs a big Voyager-sized box just to accommodate all of his accessories. They look pretty nice together, but again, Blur and Cup just look a little scuffed to me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments on that. Then they showed something that was a surprise. I didn't know this was coming. A more G1 orientated version of the Headmasters in these classic boxes. Mm, delicious, delicious. I love this classic box art. Looks amazing. With updated figures. Uh, the figures are re-releases, obviously, are figures that we got not so long ago. Uh, but these ones have more G1 accurate heads uh chrome dome here looking pretty good bot mode is nice translucent wheels all looks great and then the alt mode looks pretty good as well hard head then uh yeah hard head looks pretty good as well in both modes just like the original did but we're getting a more g1 accurate head uh, and of course the his partner will sit inside the tank mode just exactly like they did in the previous line all nice all pretty pretty nice all together much articulation going on here as well the guns are a bit scuffed uh, brainstorm here um brainstorm it must be the, the is it the japanese version here because I, my version of Brainstorm that I remember has a, a mouth grill, obviously from the from the original G1. So I think this is more from the Headmasters Japanese release here, which is why he is G1 accurate but doesn't have his faceplate. The the baddie, as they put it, or the Decepticon that we're getting is Mind Wipe. Bot mode looks fantastic, but ugh, there's always been something about this alt mode that I don't like. It just looks like it barely hangs together. I'll probably still pick this bad boy up, but yeah, it just it looks really hollow and just like it doesn't really hold together. Yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments about this re-release. Then they moved on to the Odyssey side of things again. These Odyssey packs, uh, obviously this is about the trip to earth in earth rise so they're all generation selects and this one they visit the planet of the microns and on this planet they do uh, they get some really nice uh, artwork and things like that but what i love about this actually is that we are going to be getting some figures that actually are based around mask toys as well uh, is that a little hint they are going to bring mask back i really really hope so so all the figures that we get in this pack are Fireguard and Roadburner who combine in the classic way to form a fire truck. We get Decepticon, Runner and Motorhead who convert into their race car modes. But then, like I've just said, the ones that I'm really looking forward to are Windstorm and Sting Racer who are both based on Mask figures and that is hurricane and stinger stinger i had as a kid the the, the proper mask one uh, i really hope this is a teaser for bringing mask back and not only bringing mask back but maybe bringing mask into the transformers universe like they did in idw <laughs> please 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 Bot modes for these are your standard micros. Uh, they're not really heavily articulated. Uh, the cars look okay. Next up, we got Thrust and... 
we learned that Thrust is going to be a Target exclusive. Of course he is. Uh, in the UK, we still don't know what that will be. So probably an in-demand and Kapow will probably have these. this guy, fingers crossed. Um, but overall, bot mode here looks great. This is a figure that I'm actually really, really excited for. I really like this bot mode and the alt mode is very, very, very nice here. And um, we got some in-hand views, obviously, as well. But this is definitely something that I am very excited for. The runabout and run amok were then shown with runabout being uh, another uh, exclusive for Target. They look quite nice together, but he's just a recolor, right? He's just a recolor. Then out comes the big boy, out comes Devastator from the movie Universe. We were shown how it's packed in the pack, which looks nice. It's good for you uh, studio series, full live action movie people who want to pick up this as one if you're able to weren't able to pick it up before this is a great way for you to be able to pick it all up now and it's great that you also get this backdrop of where the big battle happened looks really nice i like the fact they do this with all the studio series it's something i was actually unaware of because i don't buy the studio series they also said there's going to be some molded detailing in this uh that the other one didn't and maybe some painted detailing as well they then close the whole show off by showing off the uh my little pony crossover with transformers pony uh i think this is old news now so this is not the first time we've seen this i don't think anyone was really too surprised by it so all in all a pretty decent fan first friday as fan first fridays go i wish they'd sweat change it back to transformers tuesday I just prefer that one, really. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments on all of these Transformers that were revealed. Were there any surprises for you? The Headmasters uh, were definitely a surprise for me. And the Mask Microns uh, were also definitely a surprise for me. Really good to see some of the Studio 86 ones. Um, I, I, I had something else in mind, I have to say, for some of the characters. But Hot Rod and Scourge look fantastic. But Blur and Cup yeah uh they uh yeah and i really do and grimlock as well i do really wish that everything was cell shaded though i know not everybody loves the cell shading but i'm a big big fan of cell shading let me know your thoughts down in the comments though has it lived up to your expectations and i'll see you in my next video don't forget if you're new around here give me a like a share and a subscribe and i'll probably catch you tomorrow with another news roundup all right guys in a bit